Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're right here in Baja, California, with our very good friend, Shorty Rossi, who's going to, you know, we're just going to ask him a few questions, and so he could introduce himself, uh, you know, his his passion, his love for the pit bulls, for, for the canines, for the dogs, you know, everything he has done in the past, you know, I really appreciate him taking a few minutes of his time to, you know, just answer a few questions. Is there anything you want to say to the people out there? No, I'm glad you guys out here in Baja are great supporters. We love the bully breed, we love the pit bulls, the bullies, everything. It's a great thing that we do here in Mexico, is to show people here that these are great dogs, and that's why we're here. You know, uh, people people maybe, you know, they, they, they see your show, they see your interviews, they see that you're all over the place. You know, most people don't imagine you visiting us over here in California. Well, I don't only visit, I live here. I've been living here for five years before pitfalls even came on TV. So I was always a resident of Mexico. You know, I come here because I can have as mainly as many dogs I can have, and I don't have to have my neighbors. And it's cheaper to live down here, and I'm away from the crazy Americans, kind of. <laughs> I, I completely agree with what you're saying. Uh, now that you mention it, what are some of the things that, that, that have really changed? for pet owners in California. Just just speaking of California. So even in the entire United States, a lot of people don't understand, you know, what these dogs really are. They're companion dogs, they're not guard dogs. And because of the two different pit bull shows on Animal Planet, is now bringing people awareness what these dogs really can be, not what the media thinks they are. And, you know, a lot of, I get nine-year-old kids saying, my mom let me have a pit bull because of your show. I get a 40-year-old man saying, my wife finally let me get a pit bull because of your, own, your show. And then I get some 90-year-old granny with a 70, 80-pound pit bull saying, I got this dog because of your show. That's what we want to do. We want to spread the awareness of the bully breeds at the same time fight the laws that they're trying to ban what we love. Exactly. I mean, we all know back in the 70s, back in the 80s, you know, there was a, a, a stereotype for the Doverman, for the Rottweiler. Now they have it out for the people. Do you think in the future they're going to have it out for a different type of dog? I mean, other breeds have had a lot of trouble in the past. Our breed has had the worst. Will it change? It's starting to slowly change. Will it get to, like before, if humans start changing the way they keep their pit bulls, raise their pit bulls, and stop breeding them everywhere, maybe that would change. Because in the U.S., if you go in dog pounds across the country, 80% of them are full of pit bulls or chihuahuas. You know, a lot of people don't realize in the 30s and 40s, they were nanny dogs. A lot of people don't realize it was the poster dog for the military. So uh, no one knows the real history of how much this used to be the country's dog. And we, as a human, have backstabbed this breed because we always want everything bigger and stronger. We want to put, you know, 10 foot chains and put them in cages that are too small for them. And, you know, when a dog is violent or aggressive, you must look at the owner because he's probably violent, aggressive, or stupid too. Exactly, I completely agree. Now, and, and good thing that you mentioned that uh, a lot of people say, well, the, 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 the pit bulls are aggressive, they're, they're attacked. There are dogs that, that attack people. And, you know, one, one point I want to make, and maybe you, you're you going to agree, is if any dog that you get, that you tie up, you leave them out in the sun, in bad conditions, it's going to basically go a little crazy. It, it's it, Even us humans, take for example, you tie a person up in the sun with a chain and just leave them there day after day after day without going anywhere. Do you think that human being who can reason, reason with his mind do you think after so long he's gonna not go crazy? Now imagine a, a canine, a dog. What do you What do you think of that? It's exactly. It's just like the human. You lock a kid in a closet. Look what it's gonna turn out to be. It's gonna be a monster. You You tie a dog up all day with five feet of uh, rope. You leave it in the backyard. You don't interact with it. You don't interact with the human. It's gonna happen the same way. And at the same time, people don't get a pit bull as a guard dog. You get a pit bull and let it be your companion, like my friend Hercules. You train it like a guard dog, what you're doing is training such a powerful and strong breed to be vicious. This is not a German Shepherd, people. This is a pit bull. You love your dog. You can probably walk into my house and 
half of my dogs will let you in because that's the way they are. Exactly, exactly. Well, you know what? I really want to say thank you. You know, thank you so much for your time, Not a problem. for your friendship, you know, for everything that you're doing for the breed. You know, there's, there's many breeds out there, and, you know, this is just to help out and make sure that people don't get suckered into them crazy th uh, imagination thoughts that people want to put in their heads. For example, that vicious dogs, evil dogs. You know, you got to, everybody, you got to start thinking differently. You got to start treating these dogs like your own friends. Not like just uh, an evil dog that's out there to kill. It's not like that. Remember one thing. If I'm only four feet tall at 1.2 meters and I can live with nine pit bulls by myself, you can live with one. Very, very good point. <laughs> Thank you so much. Not a problem, man. Bully Blast right here with our very good friend Shorty Rossi. Thank you so much, sir. Not a problem.